This excerpt from the public television program, The Piano Guy, is brought to you by NAM, the International Music Products Association. I'm sure this is going to be fun. I'd like to introduce you to great piano player and friend of the show, Bobby Floyd. Hi, Bobby. Scott, how, how are you? you? Okay, how about you? I'm doing well, thank you, and Good. I'm more than a little excited that you're here, uh, particularly to work through this tune, Georgia. Right? Georgia great. on my mind, I great. guess is the official title, and, mm -hmm. and I didn't realize it until, you know, just before we started taping that you've really got a connection to this tune because you worked with Ray Charles. I worked with Ray Charles back in the mid-80s. I, I worked with him for about a year and a half. That's, and toured with him? Toured all over the, all over the country and parts of Europe. Tell us them. about it a little bit. I mean, what do you have to share about that? I, I bet the playing was just well, phenomenally it, it, fun it, to hear. It was great working with him. Uh, the man was a genius. They used to call him the genius of soul, and and uh, it was great working with him. I played organ. I was just going to ask right. that question. Well, how did they had to do the yeah. dueling piano yeah. thing with right. Ray Charles? So I, you I, didn't. Yeah, I played organ. Actually, I played with the band before he would come out. Before they would introduce him. And then he would come out, take over the piano. I would move over to Oregon and accompany him while he played so, and sang. So the band was a you know bass, guitar, drums. Oh, the band was a big band. Oh, it was a big band. Big band. Oh, All so right. you try. Oh, how uh -huh. fun is that? Mm -hmm. So you were playing piano with the big band before he'd come out to right. to front the front to front yeah. the thing. Mm -hmm. And then you moved to a B three. It's the B three. Uh -huh. Ah, that's great. Mm -hmm. I would have. You talk about somebody you'd like to steal some good blues licks from, right? Oh, he was I mean, the king. He was the king. Right. And, you know, it's, yeah. uh, anytime I've ever seen video of Ray Charles, it's, I just am desperate to. Uh, you're wishing they had this overhead shot like we have. Right. You want to see exactly because mm -hmm. he just he just had the most soulful oh, stuff. He did. And he it really wasn't did. particularly, you know, technical. Usually it was just it was just. Right. It's just all heart. Yeah, it know, was all heart. All yeah, heart, it wasn't you know. smoking hot technique. Right. It wasn't just mm -hmm. phenomenal chops. It was just absolutely right. the mm -hmm. right thing at the right time. Mm -hmm. Fun stuff. Yeah. So you've played this tune quite a bit, I assume. Yes, I have. Having, uh -huh. having done that. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you, I'll just, I'll open up the door here. If you were going to sit down and, and, you know, play this tune, mm -hmm. how do you, how do you dig in? Well, I would play the melody, uh, of course, with my right hand, probably single notes or or in octaves or in chords, and okay. I would accompany what I'm playing with my right hand with my left hand by playing um, chords to support the melody. Okay. Um, Let's hear a couple measures. Can't. Sorry to interrupt you. Start at the beginning and let me do just what you did again. There's a section I want to ask you what chord you're playing. You did nice, uh, a couple okay. of quick little substitutions that I'd like to know. Okay. Go ahead and just start. So you're starting right in. We're doing this in F, so that's F. F, F. And you're working up to A7, right? Oh, sorry, E. Okay. 2, 5, 1 to D minor. D minor. B flat. Yes. B diminished. Okay. F. D7. Yeah. G7, C7. That's, that's pretty three, straight six, ahead. Two, five. Yeah, uh -huh. that's pretty straight ahead then. I forgot what I did. You the first did something time. hipper than that. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was I can't nice. remember what I did. Well, Maybe I'll, I'll do it if again. If you do it again, I'll right. stop you. <laughs> okay. That's the beauty of playing like this, right? It's having uh -huh. the freedom to just be able to to hammer through whatever you're doing and, and enjoy doing the, the substitutions like that. I, sometimes when I'm playing this tune, I, I'm challenged to being you know, Georgia. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a it's kind of a, a long time to let it sit there. Mm -hmm. You know, Georgia, same thing, kind of a long time. Uh -huh. And then the chords just start getting a little busier. Do do do, and you get right. some walking. Mm -hmm. Give us some tips on how you make melodic lines more interesting. If there's just kind of some okay. long hanging notes, what can you do to fill some of that time? Oh, oh there, there are a lot of different things you can do. Uh, sometimes you, you can improvise like within the melody or in between melody notes with your right hand. And since this is a soulful song, sure. you can play. Yeah. Well, you can play that. I might not be able to play that. Or you don't have to do that. You no, can, that's... You can just fill in with your, that's enough right there. If you're playing the right chords with your left hand. Sure. That's enough right there to make it 
flow. In, in the case know? where you did do that, you really, your thinking was, Georgia, there's mm -hmm. the line, and mm -hmm. then you're like mentally shifting gears, okay, now a company. Mm -hmm. Now, back right. to being the soloist, uh -huh. now a company that line. Right, it's almost like you're playing the melody and improvising. If, if in, I in could, and knowing that we're not gonna sing this, because that's always an interesting break for a lot of our viewers, is to say, well, what really, how do you shift gears when you go from solo playing to accompaniment playing? Mm -hmm. And I think a description that we use a lot is saying, obviously you don't wanna play the melody line because whoever's singing it's doing it. Right. But it's almost as though you become a counterpoint. Right. You stay that's away true. when the melody should uh -huh. be sung, mm -hmm. fill in when it shouldn't. Mm -hmm. And can I, can I ask you, yeah, if you were improvising, or improvising, excuse me, accompanying mm -hmm. someone right now, Play the first couple measures of this tune like you would if you were If somebody someone. was singing, okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So now you're out of the way. Just pretty much playing yeah. the chords. That's you know? great. And the, mm -hmm. or keep on right where you were. I was just, we're getting up to... Now that's done. Now it's your time as an accompanist to. And back out of the way, uh -huh. and then back in. Yeah, that's a that's a, a fun thing to play, and I think a, a really healthy thing to learn for a lot of beginning pianists, because mm -hmm. a lot of people play in this style because they do want to sing, or right. they're wanting to accompany someone, or whatever that is, and uh -huh. it's a it's a mind shift. I think to say get away from the melody. Right fill in when the melody isn't playing. It's, right. just, it's, it's the inverse of what you would normally be doing. That's so. true. And it's also a matter of becoming familiar with the right lines and the right, uh, anything you would play in between or behind the melody, uh -huh. just becoming familiar with the right way of playing. Sure. And what style. would you describe as the right way? I'd, I'll pick your uh, brain it's, there. It's anything that works, yeah. you know. Anything, well in this case, anything bluesy. It's also a pretty song, so uh -huh. it's, you know, something pretty. Now, I, you know. it's always been, I think, a, an interesting prelude into the world of improvisation for some people that have an improviser. Somebody says, no, I really don't consider myself a, a jazz improviser. Or that's a world I'm trying to get into. Mm -hmm. I've, and I've found that in the past with students that maybe a good way to just nudge somebody down that path is to say, start, in, start accompanying. Because what you end up getting is improvised lines, but in very small bites. Right, you know, right. You're still having to use the same skills of say, hey, what, what chord are we on? What are some mm -hmm. appropriate melodic things to play across those chord changes? Mm -hmm. But you're not responsible for an entire the course thing. full. Right. You know, you get a melody that's and you true. get this little nugget of, now let me do a little improvised thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's a good stepping stone for some people that are a little, little timid about that's jumping right. right into the lake and doing all that. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, moving to the, the bridge on this tune, mm -hmm. um, go ahead and play a couple measures. Let's okay, the see bridge if you can goes, give us all right, something away on this one. Okay, we're in the key of F. The um, bridge is going to the relative minor, D minor. Um, the last couple of bars. <laughs> Okay. To the bridge. Three, four, D minor, G minor. And this is such an. It's. It, that's what I was saying. What can you do playing wise? Because this, the the bridge on this tune gets dark. Mm -hmm. You know, it gets dark. It's in a minor, and it's, right. and it's and it's darker chords as opposed to this this prettier, lighter. You know, A section. Uh huh. How do you approach playing that to, to give it that kind of feel, or do you do anything different there? Is it is it more of a dirge kind of thing, or? Well, yeah, it's kind of a, it's kind of a dirge, but it's still a bluesy song. And since you're going to the relative minor, you can you can play a lot of the bluesy lines. So like a blues that you're scale, playing you in the mean. key of F. Oh yeah. Well, okay. So let's let's give that away. So a blues scale, uh -huh. you know, playing like a blues scale in F. Uh, okay. Would be. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, blues scale in F. Okay. It's almost a pentatonic with the sure. uh, oh here's the yeah, with, yeah. Right. with the uh, the B natural uh, the B right. natural okay and that'll still work when right you... now if you go to the key of D minor uh, let's say blue scale is pretty much based on pentatonic so if you sure. go to the key of D minor you can play the pentatonic you can still you know, pretty you much play get across it, right? it yeah. you play the D the D blue scale too. That's a good thing to give away. I think uh -huh. that's a good nugget for viewers to say, you know, okay, if, if in this tune you're on the A section, mm -hmm. you can work on that that F blues scale, which was, let's just give that away really slowly okay. again. So it's F, F, A, 
E flat. Can we do it going up? Going up. Sorry, yeah. Okay. F A flat. F A flat. B flat. B. Yeah. C. E flat. Okay. So mm -hmm. the the reason that's a trick or not a trick, the reason that works is any one of those notes are going to be safe, for lack of a better description. They're, right. They're safe, appropriate notes to play I think, yes, they across are. that section. Now, mm -hmm. to take that, it's kind of a kiss and cousin to that. Mm -hmm. When you're in the B section, what is the safe? Okay. Now we're in the D minor. Okay. So what's now the we're safe in one? D minor, but it's cool to play the D blue scale. Okay. Which so would let's be do that one. Yeah. D, F, G, A flat. A, C. Okay. Just yeah. listen. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's a great one. Anyone that's watching this one, I would encourage you to, uh, yeah, just just get those notes memorized, and boy, is it going to immediately give you a launching pad for for having some fun, you know, doing some improvisation on on tunes, and and don't be afraid of that word. I think that word just scares the bejeebers out of somebody. Oh, I'm not a jazzer. <laughs> oh, I'm not. You know, I get that all the time. I'm like, oh, listen, and we're all just trying to make some music. Oh, you know? it's great. Have some fun. And it's great to do that. Yeah, no yeah. doubt about it. Yeah. Well, listen, let's hear you play this tune. Mm -hmm. Thanks okay. for sharing all that information, and we'll. Uh, We'll see if we can keep our eyes out. If you want to take a solo course, it'd be great, and we'll we'll listen for the uh, for the blue scale a little bit. Okay. All right. Thanks so much. Okay, thank I you, I really Scott. appreciate it. Thanks. This excerpt from the public television program, The Piano Guy, has been brought to you by NAM.
who remind you that playing a musical instrument is a fun way to improve your mind, body, and spirit. And it's never too early or too late to start. Want to play?